What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Now, it has been a busy weekend here at the Nights of Horror. As you guys saw last weekend, we released all of our Halloween Horror Nights coverage um, from our opening day vlog to all of our walkthroughs to our final night vlog, which we did last Saturday. Thank you again, Universal, for having us out for that. Now we have moved on, as you guys can know. We, we, we were uploading videos like crazy um, at crazy hours of the night and whatnot. And yesterday we started our Knott's Scary Farm Week. And now today is day two of Knott's Scary Farm Week. And today we are going to do the No Before You Go. Now, we are doing the videos a little differently this time around. And like how it's not the same like we do with HHN Week, only because, and this is, this is God honest, I think out of everyone that's involved with this week, Rob was the most prepared. <laughs> um, we were, me and Hayes were supposed to film video Sunday, but I slept in a little bit late because we were out the night before at Halloween Horror Nights and then we didn't go to bed till late. Um, and then we, I got a new tattoo. She tattooed me right there. As you can see, there's the Undertaker logo. I'm gonna color it in pretty soon. But we, we were just kind of busy on Sunday getting things done and whatnot. I was editing all day Sunday, all night Sunday night uh, into Monday morning. <laughs> And uh, I got Rob's video up yesterday, and now today we are doing the No Before You Go. So, there's a lot of things you should know before you go to Not Scary Farm 2024. We're going to take it to the very top of the most important things you should know. Starting off with the bag policy. Now, check the dimensions on their website, because I do not know them specifically, but... They do have a very strict bag policy at Knott's Berry Farm in general. So you're gonna wanna make sure you either have a clear bag or the bag that fits the dimensions that are provided on the website. So check the bag policy for people who bring bags. I know for my fellow YouTubers, photographers, all that stuff, we rely on bags to carry lenses, equipment, batteries, you name it. And it's a little bit harder to do with not Scary Farm every single year, but uh, at least on our end, we figure it out. Uh, we have ways of kind of cheating the system on that a little bit, uh, but doing it under the guidelines. So yeah, check the bag policy. Bag policy is always important. Also, uh, and this is also new with Six Flags Fright Fest as well. Obviously, Six Flags and uh, Cedar Fair are under one uh, corporation now with the merger and they are both uh, enforcing the chaperone policy again this year. So if you do not reach a certain age to enter the event on your own, you have to be um, accommodated by a chaperone to watch you and your party all night. Uh, and chaperone policy in the past has been working out great for us, at least as guests, um, because for me, I get to have the freedom to film more with less crowded areas. Uh, so chaperone policy in effect. So if you're under a certain age, you can't go to the event unless you have someone over the age, I believe of 21 or over. Um, so check on the chaperone policy. That's a big one, especially if you're trying to go to the event. One thing that you want to take advantage of if you're going to be going multiple nights like we are is the Not Scary Farm Season Pass. And we're going to talk about that tomorrow more into detail on our tickets video. But the Not Scary Farm Season Pass is the best bang for your buck as far as just being a diehard fan and showing up to the event every single night um, or multiple nights, however you want to do it. Take advantage of the Not Scary Farm Pass because not only does it grant you admission to every single night of Not Scary Farm, you can also use your pass to get discounts inside of the park. Um, a lot of the times Hayes and I would go over to the Tribute Store and buy some merch. We would use our pass, get a couple, uh, I think like it was like 10, 15% off, maybe 20%. I might be pushing it there, but it's around those margins, 10 to 20% um, off of your of your stuff so take advantage of your annual pass discounts um, because they do come in handy and they do and they will save you some money another thing you should take advantage of is if you are buying the pass and going multiple nights or if you've already had an annual pass take advantage of the refillable sip cups we always buy them every single year all we have to do is just come in um, and um, just scan it, activate it, ready to go. We always buy the one that's good for the whole year, unlimited refills for the whole year. Um, you could buy the other option, which is unlimited refills just for that night, and then every time you come back, you gotta pay to reactivate it. It is ultimately, in the long run, cheaper for you to just buy the one that is good for refills all year round. 
we found it best that you pay that off within a few visits. Probably that same night, depending how thirsty you are. So take advantage of the refillable cups. It's good to stay hydrated. It has been a little hot here in Southern California lately, and you wanna stay hydrated um, all night long. We don't need you passing out or anything. You, you wanna have a good, good time. You paid money to have a good time. So stay hydrated any means possible. Uh, wear comfy clothes, check the weather. Much like Halloween Horror Nights, we, we, we did uh, recommend this and it did come in handy because opening night was a scorcher. I do not know what Not Scary Farm opening night weather is going to look like until next week. So definitely take advantage of checking the weather ahead of time so you can plan your outfits for a much cooler fit for the night. Um, or if you're just someone who likes to wear long sleeves and pants all the time, then you do you. I cannot do that. I need to wear shorts. I need to wear a short sleeve shirt. And uh, also, you're going to be walking a lot. So wear some comfortable walking shoes or comfortable shoes of any sort that you feel comfortable to walk in for a long period of time. Standing for a long period of time. Um, all that stuff. Under no circumstances. Should you ever touch hit or harass any of the scare actors they are there to do a job you paid a ticket to see them do their job for them to scare you to immerse you into whatever stories they want to immerse you in so do not touch hit or harass them in any way shape or form because it's not fair for the person who is scaring you to get hit by you it's not fair for your party who will potentially be getting kicked out with you. And it's gonna be a bummer for you too because you paid all that money and you're gonna get kicked out of the park for acting like an idiot. Just don't do it. You're there to have a good time, have fun. Not Scary Farm only comes a month and a half out of the year. Enjoy it, it's only here for so long and then it's gone for another year. Enjoy it, it's a lot of fun. The event is one of our favorites. It's something we continue to go back to every single year and we have a blast doing it. Plan your game plan, especially if you're going like on a Friday or a Saturday night. Usually those are their most packed nights. Um, plan your, your game plan of attack for the night um, or plan to go on a less busier night, a Wednesday, a Thursday, or a Friday. There's going to be Wednesdays available starting in October, so keep in mind on those. Thursdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays are usually your best days to go because the crowds won't be nearly as bad as a Friday or a Saturday. And if you are going on a Friday or a Saturday, then plan your game plan of what you most want to hit. Uh, make sure you're going to want to see those two new mazes, Widow and Eight Fingers Nine, the Boogeyman, uh, which are going to be located right next to Waxworks and Bloodline 1842, which is kind of in the back lot area. So plan your visit because you want to make sure you want to see everything you want to see, mazes, um, shows, scare zones, um, if you want to have some specialty foods that they offer or drinks, you want to make that time uh, available for all of you. And uh, finally, just have fun. Like I said, Not Scary Farm is only here for a month and a half out of a, an entire year and then it's gone for a whole year until next year. So have a lot of fun. Um, to all the people that we know that work out there that are going to be scaring, going to be bringing stories to life. Best of luck to you. Have a fun and great season. Be extremely safe out there. Stay hydrated. And we cannot wait to see each and every one of you out there. Everyone who's going to the event uh, as just a guest, have fun. Have a good time. Don't be an idiot. Be smart. Ha uh, you know, just have a good time. Enjoy what they do because they put on such an immersive experience there at Not Scary Farm to sell all these zones and mazes. They do it very well over there. Um, just enjoy it. Have a good time. Uh, compliment them every now and then if you're just sitting there and watching because we do all the time and it is just an awesome feeling to, to be scared or to be just excited to see all these people work. So just have a fun time. Have a great time. You know, get your sipper cup, get a funnel cake, you know, have some boysenberry punch with some Sprite, a little boysenberry funnel cake, strawberry funnel cake, you know, and just sit down and enjoy it. Or plan of attack, hit every single maze, hit every single scare zone, watch most of the shows, and sneak in a funnel cake at the end. Stay hydrated, though. But that's our no before you go for Not Scary Farm 2024. We hope you guys have an amazing time at Not Scary Farm 2024 next 
Thursday is the day. We are so excited here at the Knights of Horror, and we cannot wait to see each and every one of you at Not Scary Farm 2024. It is going to be amazing. Until then, though, tune in tomorrow to see which ticket is the best bang for your buck. You're going to get a standard general mission one night only. You're going to get the Fright and Fast Lane. You're going to do the buffet. You're going to do the VIP. You're going to get the annual pass. We're going to break down each and every one of those, Hayes and I, and we are going to um, be delivering that to you tomorrow. So stay tuned. We love each and every one of you. Stay spooky, and we'll see you tomorrow. Oh.